When you make videos about people that have a big fan following, you could always expect some backlash. So when I made the video about Fresh and Fit, I expected the broom squad to come with the dustpan and sweep me up. But the truth is, I have no problem with the red pill movement. Even though I don't think they consider themselves red pill, but I have no problem with the red pill movement. I'm gonna tell you why. The overall message is for men to know their worth. As a man, I can understand that. The thing about fresh and fit, it's not the message that is the problem because some of the things they say is true. It's the overall delivery. Except, you know what, except for when, when, uh, when, Myron dropped a video yesterday saying that men can cheat and women can't. All right, guys, all cheating is not equal. In other words, if I'm a guy and I have sex with another girl and I have a girlfriend, it's not really cheating like that. But if a girl has a boyfriend and she has had sex with another guy, that's definitely cheating. As a matter of fact, if she even talks to another guy, it's cheating. I don't got no comment on that. But it's the, it's the overall delivery, bro. I don't think they should be canceled. I don't support cancel culture. I just feel as though they need to kind of rebrand themselves. You feel me? At some point, they're going to reach a plateau. And the only thing that's going to be able to take them over that hump is the support of women. And the way they moving right now, these bitches ain't fucking with y'all. It's true that women in 2020 are just mad competitive, bro. Like, everybody wants to own a business. Everybody wants to be a corporate shit, but at the same time, the competitiveness that it takes to succeed in the business world, it's not gonna work at home with your husband. Like, at some point in time, your husband is gonna be tired of that. Now, the thing about that podcast is he's saying some of the same things. Myron is saying some of the same things, but where the lines get drawn is the way you're talking to some of these females. You're giving people alcohol and then expect them to follow your rules that it doesn't really work like that you feel me and then get upset and start talking to these women crazy how can you expect the the women demographic of the world of youtube who's who see these videos and come across these videos how can you expect them to digest what you're saying if when they're looking at you disrespecting the women on your panel that's supposed to be representing them at the end of the day you do have the wrong women representing the majority of the world like you're talking about corporate bitches and you have instagram models on there now i know it's going to be a lot of dudes like well you got to put these women in their place let's let's create a scenario right let's say you go to the store the store has a mask policy you know sometimes the mask get uncomfortable when you put your mask down myron who used to be a former federal agent let's let's switch roles he's a security guard there he comes up to you why the fuck don't you have your mask on he starts speaking to you the way he's speaking to these on his podcast just, just picture that he's speaking to you the way he's speaking to these women on his on the podcast about you not having your mask on and he's telling you facts and then he just says well, matter of fact get the fuck out the store if you can't follow the rules of putting your mask on get the fuck out the store at what point are you gonna look at him and say my but who the f are you talking to? Keep it 100%. At some point in that conversation, you're going to look at him and say, yo, who the f are you talking to? Anything else that he might say to you goes out the fucking window. No matter how true, no matter how real it is, you're not going to listen. Some of the information might be good information that people could use, but this packaging is trash. It's like me going to, to Walmart to buy some milk, and the first carton I see... It's damaged. It's the same milk in the carton. What are we going to do? You're going to move it to the side and get one that's not damaged. It's the way to get your point across without being disrespectful. And I think that's where a lot of people have that problem. Like, you're disrespectful, son. You're disrespectful. And that's not cool. That's not cool, man. Because, to be honest, like, the message that you're trying to convey is really for women. Some of the things that you're saying is really for women that women should listen to and take throughout their day-to-day -day life. But the way you deliver it is for men. Specifically, men who just need their ego stroke. Truthfully speaking, when I made that first video, I wasn't a fan of the podcast. Like, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like I said, I came across clips. But I didn't want to be ignorant and just say certain things based on, like, clips. So what I ended up doing was, I ended up binge watching a few of the podcasts, some that was previously uploaded, and I caught two that came up af after all the situation happened. And I realized that some of the information was true, true, based on my personal experience now, being married, and my personal experience when I grew up with my parents. It's true, like, but the delivery is trash the delivery is trash the majority of your audience i ain't gonna say the majority of your audience but you gotta understand that 
a lot of these dudes that sitting there looking at these videos and just like, yeah, man, put that shit to her place. They don't have the experience to even understand what you're talking about. They're living through y'all experience. And I'm gonna be honest. I went through y'all comment section and, and some of these guys that, that got videos and, 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 and pictures of themselves, you know, separate YouTube channels that didn't take off. I clicked through that and I'm looking at these niggas and I'm like, yo, a lot these these niggas don't get no pussy. I could tell. I could honestly tell. I ain't saying all of them are like that because it's some other of them in there who were married, it didn't work, and now they're bitter. And the way y'all are delivering the message that y'all are trying to, to deliver is feeding into their bitterness. Case in point, it was one of one of y'all fans was in my comment section. But um, was so angry when he was typing, he ain't even it's all run on sentences. There's nothing special you get from a marriage. That's a feminine mindset. The only advantage I can claim for a marriage is having someone who can make sound decisions on my behalf when I get, when I am sick and unconscious. Aside that, zero benefit. Was married five years. Most females don't even stay that long. You already lost when you don't have the balls to leave. Only, only thing I agree about that whole comment is if you don't have the balls to leave a situation that's not benefiting you, you feel me, a situation that's stressing you out, then yes, you a simp. Besides that, everything else is trash. You feel me? And based on that little comment, in two sentences, I can tell that your marriage didn't work because of your ego. You sound like an egotistical maniac. Marriage is more than you just sprucing up your ego, my nigga. It take it takes some compromise to make the shit work. A lot of you niggas not willing to compromise. Let's just say that. It's just, it takes some communication to make that shit work. And even after when you have kids, that's even more things that that's added on to the table, bro. Perfect example. For you egotistical maniac. Let's say you have a uh, you you've been married and then you and your wife have a child. One thing that people don't talk about with, with kids is postpartum depression. So now your girl, your wife is going through postpartum depression and she's not fulfilling the, the things that she needs to fulfill to boost your ego. What you gonna do? You gonna leave? You gonna leave her high and dry while she's going through depression. You feel what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, man, out of all these dudes that, that talk about, you know, that give advice to men, it's one guy. It, it, it's two guys. There's one that give advice to young dudes on how to talk to women. But it's this guy, man. I think it's, it's, it's the Poor Man Podcast. Hold on, let me make sure. Poor Man's Podcast. Bro, ladies and even some of y'all who support Fresh and Fit, subscribe to this man, the Poor Man's Podcast, because he gives logical advice from a logical place. He, he's not rude. You know what I'm saying? He'll let people finish. He'll let people speak, say what they're saying, and then he'll logically dissect what they're saying. I, I support this man. I don't know him from a can I don't know him from a hole in the wall. I just came across his channel one day, and literally, I was just like, yo, I fucks with him. You feel me? The other guy, uh, Taekwon, Taekwon's Dojo. If you, like, under the age of 25, you feel me? You should definitely look at Taekwon's Dojo if you're having problems with, with speaking to women. Because at the end of the day, that's the problem. A lot of y'all niggas be scared to go up to women and expect them to choose you. And you know what? Let's keep shit on it, right? Some of y'all got nine-inch requests with, with five-inch tools. You come in with five-inch tools and you, you got nine-inch requests. Let's not do that. 